This is the audio white paper recording of USD Coin White Paper by Center. I'm going to skip the table of contents and go right on to section one, which is the executive summary. We live in a world of open, connected, global, free communication and information sharing. Section 1.1, the center vision. The open internet, a global distributed network of computers that share common open software protocols has enabled billions of humans to connect and share information instantly, securely, and with zero consumer cost. The implications for the world have been profound and are still unfolding. The invention of cryptographic assets and blockchain-based computing and data sharing have ushered in the next major era of the open internet. Just as HTTPS, SMTP, and SIP allowed for free information sharing and communications, crypto assets and blockchain technology will allow humans to exchange value and transact with one another in the same way, instantly, globally, securely, and at low cost. An open internet of value exchange can transform and integrate the world more deeply, eventually eliminating artificial economic borders and enabling a more efficient and inclusive global marketplace that connects every person on the planet. The future of the global economy is open, shared, inclusive, far more evenly distributed, and powerful not only for a few chosen gatekeepers, but for all who will connect. Center was born out of a desire to realize this vision. Center consists of price-stable crypto assets, network protocols, and business rules which were implemented in early form over the past several years by Circle, where the existing technology supports significant active daily transaction volume. Center plans to create a network scheme to manage the creation, redemption, and flow of these assets under a new organization independent and separate from Circle. In addition to governing and auditing network membership, Center plans to provide technology to address price volatility and transaction scalability challenges on top of existing public blockchain infrastructure. Specifically, Center plans to provide a mechanism for issuing members to mint and burn slash redeem asset-backed fiat tokens or stablecoins to address price volatility. Protocols to enable global stablecoin transaction interoperability on public blockchains using state channels for increased throughput and scalability. Network membership rules and smart contracts to govern, audit, and manage the licensed network participants that mint, transact, and redeem stablecoins. While Circle will become a licensed member of the Center Network, the network scheme and crypto asset technology will evolve under a new independent entity, an organization which will govern and further develop the Center protocols separately from Circle. This document describes Center, the problems it is designed to solve, how it is designed to operate, and how it should be managed. To clarify vocabulary, a glossary of terms is provided as an appendix. Section 1.2, Global Payment Use Cases. Over the past half decade, mobile-based digital wallets have emerged all around the world. These applications allow people to make person-to-person -person and person-to-merchant payments using their mobile phones. These mobile wallets have proliferated in every country where they are provided by a mixture of banks, mobile carriers, and technology companies. Each purports to make consumer payments more seamless, yet nearly all of these exist as thin shims of software built on top of the legacy banking and card network payment system. Each one is siloed and proprietary. They live in walled gardens to borrow from the Internet 1.0 era of online services. While we can freely exchange information and content and freely communicate in open and global ways, Money and payments remain locked in the old, closed world silos. Center is designed to provide a solution and new incentives for connecting the world's disparate digital wallets. A network scheme for fiat token stablecoins that will allow money to flow between wallets the same way information moves between web browsers and servers, email between mail services, 
text messages between SMS providers. Sender answers the question, I can instantly text someone who uses a different mobile carrier than I do, and I don't pay money to email someone who uses a different email service than I do, so why can't I use Alipay to pay someone who uses Square, to pay someone who uses Paytm in India, to pay someone who uses Facebook Messenger instantly, for free, anywhere in the world? Sharing content is free for consumers globally and is interoperable and not locked into specific software programs or devices, so it will be with value as money becomes another form of internet content. Businesses and organizations, either directly by supporting center and door stablecoins or indirectly by working with merchant acquirers, will be able to support direct payments from compatible digital wallets. Just as an individual can use her web browser to browse the content of a business website, she will similarly be able to use any wallet she chooses to make payments to people and businesses who use other compliant wallets anywhere in any currency instantly and safely. Center provides solutions for wallets to exchange value using the same or different currencies. A payment from one wallet holding tokenized US dollars can be sent to another holding Korean won with seamless and instant currency exchange. Of course, payments can also be made between wallets in the same currency. For example, a person using Venmo could pay another person using Square Cash or Circle. Center protocols aim to manage exchange rate rules and contracts across different stablecoin tokens, both within and across currencies. Section 1.3 Crypto Exchange Use Cases In addition to transactional use cases involving global payments, stablecoins issued by Center Network members also aim to address key use cases involving crypto asset exchange risk. Crypto asset exchanges are online marketplaces in which buyers and sellers come together to trade crypto assets such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and others. These crypto assets fluctuate in price according to the market. Tokenized fiat money, such as tokenized US dollars, does not fluctuate in value, but rather remains price pegged to the value of its underlying backing asset. In this example, the value of one tokenized US dollar is always intended to be priced at one US fiat dollar. This makes price stable tokens useful for providing fiat connectivity and for hedging risk on crypto exchanges, particularly on those exchanges that do not provide traditional fiat on and off ramps, so long as the price truly is stable, and so long as there are compliant protections around the minting and redemption of such tokens. A hypothetical investor may choose to protect himself from Bitcoin's fluctuating value by trading his Bitcoin for US dollar tokens on a supporting exchange, and be certain that the value of those US dollar tokens will not fluctuate. Stablecoins also allow investment products, such as security and equity tokens, on crypto exchanges to be priced in fiat value rather than in cryptocurrency value. Tokens such as those designed to represent equity ownership, interest in funds, structured debt, loans, dividend rights, and other investment offerings benefit from stable price pegging for both price and investment return. Finally, and most simply, many exchanges do not offer any direct on and off ramp connectivity for fiat bank accounts. On these exchanges, stable coins pegged to fiat reserves can provide the needed integration for basic trading activity across multiple token types. Stablecoin gateways, created and maintained by licensed and compliant network members, become third-party fiat service providers for fiat connectivity to these exchanges. Center provides the smart contracts and the governance that enables issuing network members to mint such stablecoins for customers who may then use them to manage risk exposure on supporting crypto asset exchanges and to invest in tokens that represent investment products. Section 1.4 Addressing the Challenges of Crypto Assets and Public Blockchains as underlying enablers of solutions to the aforementioned use cases, blockchain technology and crypto assets promise many benefits. A transparent distributed mechanism for managing trusted updates to shared data among parties who have varying degrees of trust between one another, 
and a transferable store of value that is not tied to the policy of an issuing sovereign, but rather value based on, a, on the processing power, work, stake, and markets that support it. At the current time, however, existing public blockchain implementations and crypto assets struggle to fulfill the vision in part due to three significant challenges, price stability, transaction throughput, and risks due to the lack of independent governance over standards and network participants, particularly those members offering trade capability and fiat on and off ramps. Firstly, price volatility. In order for global financial interoperability to function reliably and consistently, a price stable medium of exchange and store of value is desired. Transacting in currencies which fluctuate with extreme volatility creates complexity and fragile sediment contracts, especially when compared to transacting in tokenized fiat money or fiat-pegged crypto assets. Center meets this challenge by providing a stablecoin framework involving real-world asset reserves. Each stablecoin token corresponds to a real-world asset and is reserved by issuing Center network member and verified and audited by Center. For example, a network member such as Circle might choose to provide a tokenized dollar and tokenized euro and back such tokens with a reserved dollar and euro, with Center auditing Circle to ensure compliance and solvency. In theory, another network member might tokenize another asset such as gold and similarly back that token with physical gold in reserve. Rules concerning limits, proofs, etc. would be enforced by Center on each issuing network member. A second challenge with current technology is blockchain transaction throughput. Current public blockchain implementations do not support high volume performance as every transaction is written to an underlying ledger and printing new blocks to such ledgers currently involves relatively high latency. Center addresses this challenge by providing a protocol for wallets to transact at higher velocity using state channels. The initial and final settlement states, such as account balances, of an interaction between two participating members is written to the relevant underlying blockchain, but intervening transactions are not written to the underlying chain and thus executed at the speed of the internet. This allows for payments in tokenized fiat currencies, but with the speed, security, and auditability of blockchains. A third challenge with existing implementations is the lack of independent governance over stablecoin providers. An issuing institution must be independently audited for solvency and security, otherwise the underlying asset cannot be independently verified and the price stability becomes tenuous. This issue has arisen with previous attempts at fiat asset-backed stablecoins in production. Center addresses this issue through separation of the Center organization from its issuing network members. Center itself is not an issuing member or financial institution, but a network scheme manager and technology provider. Center enforces compliance with network rules around membership and behavior in order to ensure stability, accountability, and consumer protection. Section 1.5, Service Providers, Compliance, Identity, Fraud, and Risk. Center plans to offer a service provider mechanism to support trust and identity decisions, rules for payment settlement and reversals, and the secure exchange of KYC slash AML related information to meet compliance obligations. Providers of services for fraud detection, risk assessment, identity management, AML monitoring, and other services on the network will be able to implement the center service provider interface in order to participate in the network and earn fees for the services they provide to transacting network members. For example, when different wallet providers connect to one another using center, it is important that these participating wallets meet applicable compliance and regulatory requirements which include relevant KYC and AML obligations. Center's service provider interface will allow providers to supply features that support KYC and AML information exchange while leveraging cryptography to secure PII and reduce the risk of PII leakage common to existing legacy payment networks. 
And just as a note, this isn't in the white paper, but PII is short for personably identifiable information. So things like social security number, full name, etc. Now back to the white paper. Section 1.6, Governance and the Center Organization. Center software implementation is expected to be managed by a new independent organization and entity created for this purpose. This organization aims to provide the support, governance, and ongoing R&D for the Center open source software project. The organization also expects to offer optional certification to improve trust in stablecoin issuing members and wallet implementations, certify regulatory compliance of members, audit asset backing, and provide support and network operations to ensure continuous operation of network nodes. The organization also aims to pursue business development and support programs to usher new members into the network and commit engineering and support resources to work on the underlying crypto infrastructure on which Center is built. Network governance is expected to include distributed consensus and voting mechanisms that leverage a forthcoming Center-specific token, separate from fiat tokens, that is designed to facilitate such network decision making. Section 2, Technology and Network. Center enables crypto exchanges and wallets around the world to interoperate. By exchanging price-stable tokenized value using a standard protocol across blockchains and fiat rails, and it enables those wallets to leverage services for compliance, identity, and risk management via well-defined interfaces for service providers which plug into the network. The technology provided by Center supports tokenized fiat money through asset-backed stablecoins and enables high transaction throughput by employing optional state channel implementations. This section describes this technology in more detail. Section 2.1, Stablecoin Minting and Redemption Sequences. Center contracts manage the minting and redemption slash burning of stablecoins, which can be used for both the exchange and wallet interoperability use cases. Customers who onboard through a stablecoin on-ramp such as a web application created and maintained by a licensed center token issuing member, can transfer fiat funds into that center issuer's account. The issuer then executes a series of commands with the center network to verify, mint, and validate fiat tokens pegged to the value of those deposited funds. The customer can then transfer those tokens elsewhere in order to use them. Redemption follows the reverse sequence. Fiat tokens are burned when a customer visits an off-ramp, such as a web application, maintained by a licensed center issuing member. Upon successful verification and validation, funds from underlying fiat reserves would be transferred to the customer's external bank. Consider this example. David is a trader on crypto exchanges, and he would like to purchase crypto assets on exchanges that do not provide direct fiat connectivity to his U.S. bank account and he would also like to hedge his risk exposure to the volatility of crypto assets on those exchanges by maintaining some of his holdings in the form of US dollar tokens that do not fluctuate in value. David visits a web application created and maintained by Circle. David could also visit a web application of any other token issuing member of Center, but in this example, he chooses Circle. David signs up for a customer account, which requires satisfaction of KYC requirements, and then begins the deposit process in order to turn his fiat dollars into tokenized U.S. dollars. The deposit process requires David to transfer U.S. dollars from his bank account into the Circle account. David has a limit on the amount of funds he may transfer, and thus the number of U.S. dollar tokens he may acquire in a given time period. Once David's transfer settles, Circle interacts with the Center network to execute the process required to transmit U.S. dollar tokens to David. These tokens may be taken from existing reserves from Circle's buffer of pre-funded fiat assets to increase the speed of the process. If no such reserves are available, then Circle uses the Center protocols to mint new tokens. 
David then receives the tokens and the value of those tokens directly corresponds to the value of the funds he deposited into the system. David may transfer the US dollar tokens to an address in a wallet or on an exchange so that he may use them to support his trading activity. Center maintains a blacklist of forbidden addresses in order to protect David and other network participants from known bad actors and to support regulatory compliance. When David or one of David's counterparties who may have acquired some of the US dollar tokens wishes to redeem the tokens and withdraw the underlying fiat dollars, then the process is executed in reverse. David returns to the issuing web application, circle in this example, deposits the tokens into a wallet address made available to his account on that web application, and Circle executes a transfer of underlying dollar reserves into David's registered bank account. The tokens are withdrawn from circulation and either placed in reserve to service future requests or else burned slash destroyed if the value of those tokens surpasses the pre-funded fiat buffer maintained by Circle. The process is subject to authentication and authorization, verification, validation, and compliance similarly to the deposit sequence. Note that access to stablecoins need not be in a dedicated web application as it is in this example, but this could also occur in a wallet, exchange, banking portal, or other product created by a licensed, compliant, token-issuing member of the center network.